Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining for another video. And it is an exciting video today. Laura at City Scrapper is celebrating her 1000 subscribers. So a load of us on YouTube and Instagram, I believe, have got together to celebrate Laura. And I think we're scrap lifting it. I'm scrap lifting Laura anyway. Um, great scrapper, love her style, so varied and more is more, which is my kind of scrapping, as you all know. So do check her out. I will leave a couple of links down below to her YouTube and her Instagram. So the layout that I am scrap lifting today is this one, which I pulled off her Instagram, which I believe is at City Scrapper. And we've got one photo. So I'm using this photo of us three, which is an autumn walk from last year. I think we were in lockdown at that point, so we just got out for a walk. It's a mixed media background. I won't be doing the mixed media, but we do have two squares there with a, well, a square with a thin border. And then we've got our six by four photo and we've got like a banner here and a little something down here with embellishing, something here and a bit here. So, oh, and everything is inked as well. So I will try to do the scrap lift justice and I hope you like it, Laura. So make sure you check out the description down below and hop along to everybody else taking part. There's Laura, Mo I'm not even going to try and list everybody taking part because there is loads of people. So hop on along and enjoy everybody else's videos. So I have pulled my autumn box out. So I have an autumn collection and it's got all sorts of autumnal collections in here echo park simple stories amy tangerine didn't know that was in there should be in the amy tan box <laughs> uh, pink fresh studio and i had this one which i was obsessed with last year had to have it never used it does anybody else ever do that you have to have something you get it then you never use it um, so let me just get all these other little bits and bobs off here because I want to show you them separately. So this is, as I say, Doodlebug Pumpkin Spice. I have got, I've just split it because the ephemera packs are so massive um, that they didn't fit. I store my ephemera in these little CD wallets. So we've got the chit chat and we've got the odds and ends, loads of leaves and autumnal animals of course the leaves have got the doodle bug smiley face on but i'm going to embrace it today you've got to at times i pulled out a doodle pop this is the fox and some mushrooms i have got the icon stickers so lots of trees leaves stuff like that and i've also got the mini icon stickers two different sheets in that one and I did think, let me just float to this side for a moment and pull out my summer and autumn box of stickers. Because I thought I had the 12x12 this and that stickers. So let's have a look. Oh, first one that we pulled to. So I've also got the 12x12 this and that stickers from this collection. And I've got a few other ones. Uh, I was going to say Halloween then. Fall, fall, autumn theme, themed, themed, themed. Can't talk tonight. Uh, we've got Hello Autumn from Carter Bella. The Story of Fall from Echo Park. That's an old one, that. 2015. I'm not sure where I got that from. Uh, my favourite fall from Echo Park. Cozy Days from Simple Stories. Couple of them. And that's it for autumn. So I don't have a great deal of autumn. But at least we have found one. So that is what I am going to be working with for this scrap lift and celebration hop in celebration of Laura at City Scrapper. So that is all of that. I've also pulled out a few other bits. So that's my photo. I have got these stickers. Now these are brand new at Dotty About Flare. 
which is, as you all know by now, it is the business that I own. And this month was our first month of starting to sell stickers and die cuts, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, so I have pulled them out because they're all autumn themed. So we've got lots of titles. I have already used one of these, some of them. So I pulled that one in as well. I've also got these borders and some words and some more words and some stars and hearts. We have also this month got a bonfire night slash fireworks phrases as well. But of course I won't be using that on this one. I really love these so much. And uh, fun fact, as uh, Sandy says, <laughs> we will be having a set of these every month in different colours. So I've pulled those out. We've also got a pack of die cuts that I've just thrown across my desk. So there's all sorts in there, lots of leaves and hearts and pumpkins and tickets. So I might use a couple of them. Pulled in some white trim. Don't know if I'm going to use it, a pom-pom trim. I, just, I fancy lots of texture, not sure why. And then finally, I am super excited to have these in my hands. The post round here at the minute is atrocious. So things are taking, they're just not getting through. Anyway, um, today, after an hour on the phone to our local postal service, Royal Mail, the sorting office manager was at the doorstep at 9am with... Oh, I've just kicked. Excuse me, there we go with two parcels, one of which was an order um, and then a couple of hours later there was five more and a couple of hours later another one so I'm now waiting for six rather than twelve so that's good news um, and one of them was from Hey Little Magpie and from J 3D JD or JD 3D 3D JD which is a brand new business by James Davis um, who is Sarah's son. Sarah is the lovely lady who owns Hey Little Magpie and her son does 3D printing. So you start and doing titles which are now on sale at Hey Little Magpie so check them out. Really affordable and cheap and really good titles and I know he's working on some more so there'll be some more coming soon and he sent me a few to have a play with kindly so thank you Sarah, thank you James. Hopefully you like what I do with it. <clears throat> So I've pulled a couple out to use on this page. So we have got Sweater Weather. Which they're just so lovely. Like they're, they're small, don't get me wrong. Like There they are. But I like that because, as you know, those of you that have watched a few of my videos, I don't mind having multiple titles or phrases or words on my page. So I would happily use a couple of these and not think about it. And I love them. So I am going to try to get at least one of those on my page. That's it. I am going to get cracking by getting some paper together because I've not chosen papers yet. And we all know I like to faff with paper choices. Let's just remind ourselves, ourselves that we are using this scrap lift from City Scrapper. So I need a background paper. I need two squares and two poor banners because Laura has used a mixed media background but in all honesty I don't have time for that at the moment. I do have time for that but I don't have time to wait for it to dry because as always I'm a little bit last minute. So maybe we'll go very bright. This is the orange tone on tone leaf which is just gorgeous. I love leaves. I don't have many autumn photos, that's the problem, and I love autumn collections. So I need to stage an autumn photo shoot, I think. So I think that might be our background paper, or this, although it's quite busy. All of that. So the background paper is going to be one of those two. <coughs> I also want to bring a bit of that in. Let's see, I might bring, no, probably not on this layout. Let's just 
See, I seem to have three of every sheet. I don't know why. Let's have a look. That's a little bit clashing. So I think they are the papers that we will use. There's lots of plaids in this collection. Plaids, tartan, whatever you call it. Maybe we'll bring one of these in. <clears throat> and maybe a little stripe. As you can see, I'm not very good at narrowing things down. And maybe a dot. They're the choices I'm going to give myself. So I get this cut up and where we need them. Then I will be back to give this layout some embellishment. I will also pull in some flare from Dotty about flare. And what I will do is I'll choose that with you guys now. Because I'd like to show you. So this is all the November release. So we've got lots of textures in this month and lots of different things. I do love, and there is teal actually in this collection, although it's a little bit too dark here. Yeah. I do love that abstract set. So I might bring that in. So I am going to limit my choices because otherwise I rummage for ages. We've got an Excel with autumn words. I'm going to give myself all of that set, I think. <clears throat> Apart from the plaid. Cute little fox, which you can have as a magnet for the first time ever. At Dotty About Flare, of course. Other places do them. We've got like a retro fall. These textures are amazing. So I'm going to bring them in, I think. We've got some cute forest friends. And a lovely, that is gorgeous. Okay, that is the choices I am going to give myself. Can't wait to use these uh, December numbers. But anyway, I digress. So... I will pop off and get some paper choices nailed down. Then we can get back and do some fun embellishing. So I've got all my paper layers down. Everything on the page is now stuck down, I think. Yep. I am going to admit here, I am so sorry, Laura. I forgot to ink all my edges. And I really don't want to be taking things off. I have practiced here with a pen with my uniball pen and I'm thinking that in place of inking the edges which I'm not sure whether it would have looked right because there is no black on the page which sounds ridiculous because we're pretty much dressed in black but in terms of paper and pretty much embellishments as well there isn't really any black the only black is his eyes on the fox that is the doodle pop and one of the flare I just loved it I've also added some pom-pom trim here for added texture because Laura's pages at City Scrapper has loads of dimension and texture but looking on, on Amazon, Instagram. So I wanted to add a little bit there. I have added a bit of wash tape under there but you're not going to see it because I want to put an XL up there. And I have used some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I did one of these 3D JD 3D printed titles from James at Hey Little Magpie on this flare and I think I might put it up there. That's my thinking. This is one of the journaling cards that I've just top, cut the uh, top off. And as you can see as well, apologies again Laura, I haven't done the banners. I have done the square and I have matted the square which I really 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 like. This corner is doing my head in though. Um, however, I wasn't feeling clever enough to do a matted banner. So rather than doing that, I've just added four pattern papers there. So on this page, it's really busy because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pattern papers. But I don't think it looks very busy. 
You may disagree. I don't know. But I really like it. I love the colours. So, let's get started with the embellishing. Some fun foam. Fun foam is what I use to adhere my XL flare because they are bigger, obviously. They aren't quite, but nearly two inches, and therefore they the dimension means that a foam pad you need a couple. Uh, two foam pads gives it quite a lot of dimension, which I don't particularly want. So I'm just going to use a foam pad and it just gives us just enough to be able to stick it. Then I'm going to layer some tape onto that and we are going to put that up here. Just there. So that deals with that corner there. You can see this orange peeking through with this yellow and I love the way it looks. Then, what I thought, I don't know if it's going to turn out right. Okay, so these, I'm just going to swap all this around. Put that up there, leave them down here. So, what I thought whilst I was having a play is I might build a little fence with lots of leaves. So, again, I'm going to apologise again to Laura because I'm just going completely off from your layout now but you inspired me and we're celebrating you so thank you i just want to put my own spin on it so this is one of the ephemera pieces from the doodle bug collection i think there's two of these because as we know those of you that have had or are doodle bug fans not only do they have the famous smiley faces they have ginormous as johnny would say ephemera packs. Okay, so I want to bring that over here a bit. But what I want to do is just put that there for a minute. Because I don't want to stick that bit down. And then I want to build a little leaf bar. So we've got this big piece, which I am in love with. That's what I love about Rosie's studio, because you get two of everything. You can use pieces and not feel bad because they're going to go. So I'm going to pop that there. Then we've got an orange and a green. I'm going to stick the orange onto the green. Then we're going to have a sunflower peeking out because why not? But I don't particularly want much of the smiley face poking out. And then I thought, oop, I didn't think to stick that to that. I thought we could have these sort of coming in there. This might turn out to be a bit rubbish, but we'll certainly give it a try. So just about there. Then I've got this green little leaf and I thought that might work there and I placed it so that the smiley face is hidden because the smiley face is cute don't get me wrong I'm not a hater of it I know some people are massively against it yes I'm talking to you Julie um, but I'm not a massive hater of it I just I don't think it's the sort of thing you have on a leaf but that's just me. I'm sure it works perfectly for some people. So then I'm just going to layer in a couple of these. Now I know there's place on that one. Just want to see what that looks like and it doesn't go. So now I have these leaves. So we've got three of these ones, two of them and one of them. These are from the exclusive kit from Dottie about flare where you get a pack of these die cuts so I'm going to use some of these these leaves and these leaves are hand drawn and designed by Mrs Brimble herself Anna and I love them 
I probably need a full pack of these as well. So I'm just going to nestle these in basically. So I want another one there to bring that out here. Another one of these up here. And then I want to pull these across to make sure it carries through. So we're going to put one there. So I'm happy with how that's looked. I think it, I think it goes well. A bit peeved because I can't see the pattern paper behind there. And I love that pattern paper. That one is that one. Now they do have smiley faces on. But I think it's so cute. It's this orange paper. But... It is what it is. I like it. And then, I think, let's see. Do, do, do. Just having a check at what we've got here. So I think up here, I did think about maybe having a sun but i don't think so now what i am going to do is we've got this little hello banner since i didn't do the banner pattern paper i do want to have a nod to laura and the banners on the inspiration layout so that is my nod to the banner and i'm just going to pop it there pop another bit of tape under there there and then i want to put a flare there this is from the happy bright autumn collection from dotty about flare and it's white with lots of tiny teeny colorful leaves apologies you can't see the full layout for a moment there we go then we've got this tab this is another mrs brimble's dotty about flare die cut and I want to get this under here but what I've done let me just take this back down I haven't put it under the white I've just put it under the photo there we go then now we've got this sweater weather so this is another jd no 3d jd um 3d cut out from halo magpie from james thank you again james so what i thought i'm gonna pop a bit of tape so i'm not using nuvo for this one i find that if i just use a tiny bit of stick it it does work and it does dry clear so you don't see any residue and that's purely because I want to just see what that comes out like oh yeah I love that so we've got sweater weather there and autumn walk there I really love them yeah they I'm really happy with those the fence is slightly wonky, but what do we do around here? We embrace the wonk. And so, I'm just going to embrace it. Fences easily get wonky. And so, wonky it shall get. I am putting another little, this is one of the speech bubble die cuts from the doodle book pack. I've hidden the speech bubble part and it just says it must be autumn. And then, we're almost there guys. I'm thinking about putting this happy here, what do you think? Happy sweater weather. I really like it and it brings the photo into the page I think and since you guys can't answer me back I'm gonna pop it there but let me know down below what would you have done yay or nay not that I can change it now because it's stuck down and that's it it'll never come off but 
I'm interested anyway. So then we've got the stickers, and we've also got the Dotty About Flair slash Mrs. Brimble stickers. So I know I want to use some phrases, hearts, and stars. Probably don't need any more of these. And don't need a border on this one. So I'm thinking a couple down here. So we've got crisp and cool. Um, all the autumn fields. And all bundled up. So I am going to go. All the autumn fields, crisp and cool, and all bundled up. And now, embracing the wonk, I've gone intentionally wonky there, because I love the way it looks. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of these hearts. So they don't have a white border, these stickers, which I very much like. I don't mind a white border, but I didn't really want one on these when we were getting them designed. So I'm going to stick a couple there. I will add a couple more, but just want to check this sticker sheet. I don't think I'm going to add much more if I'm honest. I think we have reached that point, but I do think getting this green in here and then it does mean I have got that smiley face but it is what it is it is what it is so yeah I don't think it needs much more Um, do, 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 I'm going to leave that face there for that one, just to add a little bit of fun. And then, do, 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 I want to add I wonder what that would look like. Um, you can't really see them. Oh well, I do love those. Um, I think we can get a heart in. <laughs> Why would I stick it there? <laughs> Bit of tone on tone going on up there. And then in comes the Mrs. Brimbles. Because I want to add a couple more hearts. So I'm just layering them up up there and then I'm going to pop a nice little red one on to finish it off. Then <clears throat> to finish this off, all I am going to do, I think, is going to draw a doodle border round the edge. It may mess it up. I'm going to try it. Ooh, I don't know now, guys. <laughs> well, we've got a bit of black here. And here, and here. I really don't know guys. I'll be back in a moment. So I went with the doodle border and actually I really like it. I think it just finishes it off really nicely. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. 
There we go. So that is going to do it for this layout. Please check out Laura City Scrapper down below. Then hop along to everybody else playing along to celebrate Laura's 100, no, 1000 subscribers. Thanks so much for letting me join Laura and congratulations once again. Thank you everybody for watching my video, liking, subscribing, commenting. It means the world to me. And I'm just so happy to finally be on YouTube and to hopefully be doing something right and giving you some scrappy inspiration. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you for another video very, very soon. Bye for now.